Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We were un we unboxed the uh, September edition of the Brew Box. Uh, I've unboxed this box now twice, and things happened in both the original videos. So, bang. There we go. So here's the box. So we have Shiloh Brewing Company's Beer Snob Belgian Rye Ale, Shiloh's Brewing Company's uh, Bitter Waitress. We have the Stout, the Wee Heavy, and the Blacksmith Porter from Highlander. And then we have Long Slices, Loose Lips Vienna Lager. Uh, the tasting notes that came in this box were from the August box. So, I mean, that's, that's the thing with humans actually doing this. There is human error. And it's unfortunate, uh, but it's not like I actually really need tasting notes. But this this box last month was a intriguing box too, in that a lot of the beers were things that you, uh, well, the Silversmith stuff you couldn't get unless you went to Silversmith, and the Left Field stuff was just beginning to start coming out into the LCBO, and then uh, then Cameron's was there with uh, one intriguing beer, and the other two were LCBO releases last month. Now this one, I, I'm, I, I love this one, and I hate this one at the same time. Uh, for my purposes, I have two beers that I can review out of here. I've had, I've had Shiloh's Bitter Waitress, which is available at the LCBO, and I've had all three of the Highlander beers. Uh, two of them are available at a lot of LCBOs and even at some beer stores. One of them is not available at either. So here, here's where I look at with this, okay? The, the Highlander Stout, you, you can't get, at least at this point, bottled at a beer store or LCBO. So that's amazing to get in this box. And if you haven't been to a beer festival where they brought it, you wouldn't have gotten a chance to try it. So, I mean, that's that's something great. Uh, the Long Slice, they are a contract brewer. So this beer is not currently available at a beer store or an LCBO either. So this is basically exclusive. The only way you could get this is drinking it at a, at a bar that has it on tap or through the brew box. Uh, the same with the Beer Snob. Uh, it is not at the LCBO or the beer store currently. And they are a contract brewer, so this box has that great thing going for it that you have to get the box to get those beers at this time. Um, the other three beers that were in this box are fairly widely available. Uh, at least two of them are fairly widely available. This one is kind of widely available. Uh, all good beers, all worth the price. I mean, if you... Uh, if you are not anywhere near a beer store and all that if you're out in rural places where they don't have these beers only way to get them as well uh only thing i wish i wish that they would have uh more of the beers that are not released to the beer store or the lcbo that that's my i guess that's my only gripe at this moment i think these i think the brew box is currently the best beer uh beer mail well mail order beer club in canada at this moment um they have their different brewery clubs, and they have their Brewscovery, which is this. I just, I just wish that the Brewscovery would have things that uh, were not LCBO or beer store available. And I know that there are people in places where they can't find these beers in the LCBO. But now that the LCBO does do its home mailing system, it's easier still. Uh, that being said, I don't have a problem with the breweries. I mean, Shiloh. I can't get this any other way. I'm excited about that. Uh, the Stout, I've only had because... Of my beer festival and the long slice i can't get that anyway other way so i'm excited about that but the other three beers in this pack i can get almost any day i want and i live in a place that isn't the greatest for beer i mean if you live in toronto or you live in uh guelph or london or barry or anything like that uh this box would have three new beers for you and i mean that's a good thing but i know some people will be adamant that they want all all of them to be new uh i i'm at 3800 beers now so getting new beers is harder and harder for me however like i said the only thing is that now that i i, I can get some of these beers very easily that's that's the only downfall that i find in the box currently but that's only this box i mean every month changes some months some months you get an amazing box that has all beers you can't get like uh the the month that nita was was the brewery that was Un in question here. I hadn't had any of those Nita beers. I hadn't had any of the beers in the box at all. Uh, this one here, 
if I had gotten this uh, this box in August, there would have been two beers I hadn't had, um, and that being the Silversmith in copyright infringement, and at the time, the uh, Cameron's Dry Hop Triple. Uh, the other two Camerons, very easily accessible, except Obsidian is uh, only released once a year, so and it's a great beer, so it's always good to get a bottle of that anyway. And the two, uh, two beers from left field I ended up getting uh, through the LCBO uh, order from home thing. Um, so yeah, the, the, it, but I mean like the Hill... The regular beer from Silversmith, the Hill 2, 146, you can only get that at the brewery. So if you don't live in Niagara-on-the-Lake or near Niagara-on-the-Lake and don't intend to go near Niagara-on-the-Lake anytime soon, that was something helpful for you. Um, left Field actually wasn't really in the LCBO except for their oatmeal stout for a long time. So th those beers normally would have been something expansively new for for the box. Uh, so, I, I mean, yeah, the box is great. There's some breweries that I, I personally think do great beers but shouldn't be part of the Brewscovery box because most people have probably had them or have access to them. But that's, again, just me speaking my mind. I, again, I think they are the greatest uh, beer club out there that I've, I've dealt with now. I've uh, tried a few of them. Um, and I've seen some of the ones in the U.S. and what they send. Uh, for the price, you get you get a great product out of these guys. Uh, they try to make everything uh, as good as possible. And unlike some other brew clubs, these guys are all beer lovers that are somehow in the industry. So they they know what they're looking for. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir, au bientôt. Uh, I'll be reviewing those two beers at some point. The rest of them will either be uh, in beer mails or drank on BDU. Bye.